The Bursner Brevio T646. It's six and a half meters long and it's got two lounges in it. Well, how's that possible? Let's have a look. So, your first lounge as such is around the table here. So, you've got five seats if you include that thing there as a seat. And as you come through, you've got this bit at the back. So, you could possibly get another three people each side there. So, you can get ten people around two tables here if that's what you want. Alternatively, you can also sleep in it. So you can bring the bed down and the bed comes down there. Now, one of the things I found when I had a Volkswagen was that it was great to actually open the back up like that, lie on the bed and look out. It's also great to sit around the table and look out. But the cost of this is you're losing storage space because there isn't a garage. And any uh, bikes or anything like this are going to have to be put down here. The table, as you can see, will fold up and... Uh, I don't, you can leave that to one side, but every time you stop and you want to sit and do something, you've got to take the bikes out, then you've got to put them back in again. But that's the uh, price of having a panorama out the back. It's got a slimline fridge, which uses space very well. Two burner hob, and let's have a look in the bathroom. Well, relatively standard in there. There is a uh, skylight, but no window so the vehicle weighs 2800 so it gives you a massive 700 kilo payload it's on a Fiat Ducato 2.3 it's 2.75 meters uh, height inside and the length uh, is 653 with 210 so if you like a view that's a good car to have, provided you're not going to be carrying much.